And here we are back with another video and I hope you are okay on that side of the screen. And today to bring a USB thumb drive, which I believe that it's the first time that I bring such a device to the channel, but it has a feature that caught my attention and it's really interesting, which is waterproof. Now, if we take a look at it just a few, for just a few seconds, we will see that the science behind it, it's not that uh, special, but it's really smart because as you can see, this plastic cover will protect from dust and will protect from uh, water getting in and i did a few tests and i was a bit cautious at the beginning but it went just fine and i'm going to share with you guys now it also has something right over here that we can use it to put it on a keychain or something similar so great and it is quite small i'll try to show on this cam and there we go really small so as you can see and if i take the cover this is the way that it looks in terms of specifications there's not much that i can say but in terms of speeds if you are wondering I always test, as you guys know, here on the channel. So we are talking about roughly 35 megabytes per second on reads and 35 megabytes per second on writes, which is quite decent for a USB flash drive. But moving to the more interesting part, I did start my tests by making this flash drive go through a shower. And at first I was, I don't know, cautious. I was a little bit concerned. But once I did test it out, I did clean it, bring it back to the office and plug it in, work just fine. So was happy and I said, okay, let's be a little bit more aggressive. So I went back to the backyard again and on a small pond of water, I did put it in so that it could submerge completely. And what happened after that was that it still worked. So I thought, what the hell, let's try it out and throw it into the swimming pool. And wrongly, I did thought that by being made of plastic, it would float, but I was wrong. It did not float. So just have that in mind that it will not float if you drop it on a, I don't know, water area, on a very deep water area that you cannot get it, it will not float. Fortunately, I was on my swimming pool and I could easily fish it up. But at that moment, I was a bit concerned because we are talking about 2.2 meters of depth and I'm not really sure if the pen is prepared to be uh, to go that under. So I did dry it up and I came to the office, plug it in and it worked just fine. So a great experience. And I know that this might not be useful for some of you guys, but it's really interesting. Now in my particular case, I work here in the office. I work on another office and on a classroom and that's about it. But for those that are on environments that will rain, that will cut some dust and things like that. Now, this is a great solution. One more thing that I would like to share before we shut down this video is that all after all these tests, so just to share here live that it's still working and working really great. So I'm just going to use my MacBook Pro and also uh, the this Minix adapter, and I'm going to plug it in right over here. And as you can see on that angle, um, it just appeared right over here. So it's called Zeus uh, 128 gigs. And I can just open it up. And if I want to put some files in here, working just fine. And that's about it, guys. So hopefully you did enjoy this video. I know I did enjoy testing it out this USB thumb drive and I will be using it in scenarios that I might risk my data getting dust and water. I would love to hear your opinions about it. Do you think it's worth it? Where would you like to use it? Where do you see it being used and useful? And that's about it, guys. Hope that you guys enjoyed the video and if you did so, don't forget that usual thumbs up. My name is Roberto George and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.